Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Let's do it. Hello and welcome to the workshop. Thank you for stopping by. We appreciate you very, very much. If you are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. We upload a lot of sneaker videos. When I say a lot, buckets, what am I referring to? Almost every single day. There you go, almost every single day. You can also find me when I'm not here in this little sneaker peninsula. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Mr. Fomer Simpson. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that thumbs up button. It really does go a long way, helps the channel continue to grow, lets us know what kind of content you wanna see and all that good stuff. So it's a win-win, as a wise man once said, Buckets. Symbiotic. There you go, one hand washes the other. Uh, lastly, uncivilizedstore.com, Buckets who is behind the camera and myself, we have a clothing brand, that is where we sell it. So all links will be in the description of this video. And with that said, Buckets, anything to add or am I just a perfect, beautifully executed swan dive, no splash? You don't have the technique for that, but a dive for sure. A belly flop. A belly flop, wow. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Three, two, one, bang, bang. This is the Air Jordan 5 Green Bean. These are supposed to be releasing May 28th and retail is 200 bucks. I say supposed to be because it's been pushed back a couple times now, but right now it looks like May 28th. <music> Gotta say thank you to Kicks R For Us. They are a local resale shop down here in the Tampa area. I got this pair from them. Appreciate them looking out as always. A little early action. Buckets, an early look. Indeed. Feeling good, feeling very good. To me, I consider this sneaker a classic Jordan 5 colorway. It's not an original colorway, obviously. They released back in 2006, but kind of instantly, Buckets, correct me if you disagree, or let me know if you disagree, kind of feel like they instantly became a classic Jordan 5. I remember when they came out and I remember people loving them. Not myself, but people. Yeah, yeah, it was, um, I couldn't afford a pair, but I loved them pretty much instantly. I love this green is what it really comes down to. Now this retro is a little bit different than the 2006 pair. We don't have a pair of those to compare these two, but there are some differences. Either way, I like the way they turned out. First things first, you've got the reflective 3M all over the upper here. 3M sauce, Ricky Ross. Ricky Ross. There you go. Um, very spicy. The only issue to kind of mention with that is they're probably not going to crease great. If you are an anti-creaser, these may be your worst nightmare. I know that 2006 pair, it did not crease well. That's like the one knock on that sneaker. And then, like I said, something about this green, it just does it for me. You see it on the tongue, jump man front and center. Can't forget the Air Jordan detail on the back of the tongue either. Just want to throw that out there. Another green jump man on the heel. I love the way it looks on the sock liner as well. Kind of peeking through. It's almost like, I don't know, with the sock liner. It's, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Peekaboo. Yeah, peekaboo. Classic game, you know. But it's, it's like just enough. Just right. 
It's just right. Goldilocks. Uh, bowl of porridge. Maybe that's what it is. Okay. The Green Bean 5 is a bowl of porridge. I like them a lot. And then you've got the Green Lace Lock as well. Fighter Jet Shark Teeth on the midsole. Forever gonna be my favorite Jordan 5 feature, the Shark Teeth. The rest of the midsole is this dark gray, as you can see, with a little bit of ice. And then the outsole is that same deal. Gray with a little bit of that iciness. If you love the Jordan 5, you're probably gonna dig these. They are up there as far as Jordan 5s go in my book, in a lot of people's books. The Metallic 5 bucket's probably the most classic. Beloved. Yeah, I mean, the Metallics are really good. Um, I personally really love the Burgundy 5s. I love uh, those Olive 5s are really, really good. The Grape 5 may be my own personal favorite. I think Raging Bulls are in the mix. Wow, there's a lot of good 5 colorways. Yeah, Laney's. There's awesome Laney's Laney's are in the mix for sure. Damn, so maybe these aren't that top, top, tippity top tier. But I think they're up there. I think they're definitely in the mix. The Jordan 5, just as a retro model, generally speaking, it maybe hasn't aged as well as some other Jordan retros. I still really like them, but they just don't seem quite as popular as they once were. You know, it's not like, or they haven't aged buckets like a Jordan 1, a Jordan 3. I feel like the 5 is, I don't know, maybe on the outside looking in. Who knows? Definitely of the 1 and the 3. Yeah, for sure. But even the 4, would yeah, you say the 4 has aged a little better? I don't think it's aged particularly much better. I didn't word that correctly. Okay. D d d d uh. All right, go ahead. Okay. Um, I don't really want to say anything else. <laughs> okay. I plead the 5. Double entendre. Okay, I, I did something there. What else did I want to say? Jordan 5s. Oh, I don't expect resale prices to be bad on these. Exorbitant? Is that the right word? That is the right word. Okay, I think they'll probably sell out, but I don't know. It's one of these pairs that if the nostalgia doesn't resonate, but maybe that's a lot of these older retros. So it's not a new colorway is what I'm saying. There's no name attached to it. It's not a collaboration. It's a pair from 06 that a lot of people really liked. And if you liked them then, you'll probably like them now. And I kind of, it's kind of my spiel. Review over. Review over. Boom. End it. A scale of one to 10, what am I giving these? Yeah, I'm giving these like a, like a nine out of 10. I still think they're really good. Whoa. I still like them a lot. Uh, how they hold up, how they wear, how they crease remains to be seen. Maybe we'll do a life test on them. Um, a lot of people have been asking for life test videos, by the way. Trust me, we've been doing them, and they, they just, they take a while because you got to wear a sneaker for a couple months. Right now, hang on a second here. Can I do this? Is this going to mess up your edit? It's not good for the edit, for sure. Well, see, what a lot of people can't see, this is a little hard to get my sneaker off. Hang on. Boom. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, I got clean feet. Doesn't smell. Um, been wearing these a ton. So, life test videos are coming. Maybe we'll do one on these. Probably too long to... So bad, bad for the edit. Bad yeah, for the definitely edit. bad for the edit. And now I feel weird because I've, I've only got one shoe on. Um, okay, scale of one to ten. What are you giving them? Seven and a half at most. Probably a six and a half. Wow. I don't think that's outrageous at all. No, that's a little outrageous. I'm just letting you know it's a little outrageous. Yeah, I don't care. Wow. Okay. Leave a comment below. Be the voice of reason. How do you feel about this colorway? How do you feel about the Jordan 5? Has it aged well? Not so much. Where does this colorway rank amongst the other Jordan 5 colorways out there. Let us know how you're feeling. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. We will be back tomorrow, manana. Same time, same place right here at the workshop with a brand new sneaker for your head top. I got nothing else. Buckets. Anything from you? No. Toodles. Don't say that again.